Hey guys, welcome back to Power Therapy. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Keila. Hey, if not, thank you for the support. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this look, how I got these beautiful clusters, as well as doing a review on these clusters that I picked up from Amazon. If you're interested, please continue to watch. But first, I need you to hit that subscribe button. I post videos every week, and I promise you don't want to miss them. I post beauty content, I post hair content, as well as hauls and some vlogs. I'll make sure I have these listed in the description box for you guys as well. Now let's get into this video. Okay guys, so today's video is going to be a little chill. I won't be doing a makeup look, but it will be beauty related. So I will be doing some or reviewing some clusters that I found on Amazon. They were eight bucks. This is what they look like. Um, I think that it's really cool that they already come like they would if they were a strip so if you've ever purchased um eyelash strips before i don't have any over here because i cleaned up but if you ever purchase eyelash strips you know they come with the full strip on the little thing like this and so these are actually clusters that are already split in two this is the c style cluster because c style is currently my favorite lash to wear and i also picked up a lash bun that is uh on amazon as well i'll make sure i have both of these listed in the description box for you guys but this is the brush on seal or the brush on bun and then you know you just have the brush on seal as well so you brush this on like mascara and then you seal it right after that so it is labeled uh, you have a side that says bun this side says bun this side says seal and then we have our handy dandy strips here so we're gonna test these out and see if they if they work if i like it i've been trying to find some new clusters so i was using the v-lux clusters i don't know if you guys have ever caught that video i actually did a video on how to install those or how to put them on basically but i purchased some maybe like a month ago and i actually did not like them i don't know if they sent me the wrong ones because i always wear the same style every time so i don't know if they sent me the wrong ones or what happened but it was the it was not the same the formula was not the same i didn't even wear them like typically i can wear them seven eight days i barely had them on like two days because i was doing them for a trip and you know it was just a whole thing so i was like you know what i'm gonna try something different so I picked up some of the most recommended stuff on Amazon. Now I know sometimes uh, influencers and people can hype up products. I'm here to give y'all the real. So I'm hoping that I like this because this bun costs $8 too. So this is like a $16 combo. But the thing about the bun is that you can use it at multiple times. And then with the lashes, this is not like a one lash or one strip thing. Like this is eight pairs so you can reuse them but if you lose one or whatever just go to the next pair right simple so i am going to get a makeup wipe and i'm gonna wipe my face off or wipe around my eyes to make sure there's no residue or anything and then i am going to start applying these I know it's very rare that y'all see all of this natural beauty you know no makeup no eyebrows no eyelashes i don't even got a wig on that's my natural hair uh but that's okay because good skin is good foundation and you gotta have a good healthy skincare routine because i don't wear makeup every day i'm not even gonna lie to y'all and tell y'all i do i do not wear makeup every day I really only wear it on the weekends and when I'm recording. And of course, y'all know I never wear my natural hair, like hardly ever. That is why wigs are protective styles for me. I typically have my hair and some twists underneath or some braids, something where I can oil it and keep it moisturized. And then I'm gone because I am natural. Sis is natural. And shout out to the natural girls out there that have the patience and the you know really the patience to deal with your natural hair like to comb it all the time the girls that have the natural channels like patrice or you know shout out 
to y'all because y'all do y'all thing. Because let me tell you, this is here. I do my best to keep it healthy, but actually styling it and wearing it, no ma'am. I don't do that. I do not. So I'm going to take these little tongs I got from um, Impress. I don't know if you guys seen my Impress video either. I will have it up in the cards for you guys to check it out. But I tried their um, clusters. Kiss, Kiss Impress actually had some clusters that they had that were pre-glued. And I tried those. So I'm going to be using these tweezers from that to apply the clusters. So first we're going to put the bond on. When I ever I do my clusters, I like to start from the back and work my way up to the front. So I'm just going to apply some bond here on the back and then I'm going to work my way in. And of course y'all see I got stuff on my face already because it wouldn't be me if I didn't struggle, right? So let's wipe that off of there. Then I'm going to take one of the clusters. Or I'm going to try to take one. Okay, there we go. Take one of the clusters like this, like said so. Put it on the tweezer. And then we're just going to apply it right underneath where the bond is. So you're going to go just like that. Boom. And it should stick. If it doesn't stick, just add a little bit more bond and keep going. I'm gonna do that for the rest of my lashes. I'm trying to make sure this is on good. Now you don't wanna get too close to your eyelash band, so make sure you watch out for that too. You don't wanna get too close to your lash band. Apparently this bun dries really fast, so be careful with it. Cause I'm noticing that my eyelash is getting tacky really fast. So I'm like, okay, let me move a little bit faster. Cause I don't need nothing gluing together. Voila, that's how we do it. We're gonna seal this down. I don't know if you guys can see. Can y'all see it? I feel like my camera is kind of blurry a little bit. But that is pretty much it. Let me close. Close my eye. See that versus this. Okay, so after you get your lash on, so you're liking your clusters. It only comes with four pieces too. I don't think I mentioned that, but it only comes with four clusters. After you get them on to your liking, you want to go ahead and 
squeeze them, make them tight because you want it to actually bun to your lash. Try not to snatch them off. That's what I did earlier. I, Y'all, I snatched that sucker off and I had to go and fix it off camera because it didn't want to go back on. Let me tell y'all, I ain't want no clusters in so long. I've been struggling, so yeah. Now we're gonna go in with uh, the seal and they have like a little tip. Oh, that's my first time seeing this. They have a little tip here where you probably can just brush up against it or you can use the mascara in. I am just gonna try to brush up against it and see if I can seal it that way. Of course, don't get any of this in your eye. It's probably not smart at all. And boom, we look like we got eyelash extensions. Even though we got clusters on the budget, on the budget. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do this eye off camera and then I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts and the review. Okay, y'all, so I am back. I finally got my other eye done. Um, I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see how full it looks. It looks like I have individual lashes. I definitely like these. Now, typically today, it took me probably 15 to 20 minutes to do uh, my lashes because I'm a little rusty. I haven't worn clusters in a while, so I went a couple months without wearing clusters because my allergies were bothering me really bad, and so I was having to wear glasses a lot, and you know, when your eyes itch, you can't really wear lashes like that, so I'm a little rusty, so it took me probably 15 to 20 minutes, I would say. Um, if you're a beginner, give yourself a little grace, a little time, because it's probably going to take you between 15 to 30 minutes to get it done. But I definitely feel like this is a beginner-friendly cluster uh, because it comes already, you know, in the frame that the eyelash is supposed to be. And like I said, I got C-style lashes, so they're really, really curly. But you don't have to get C-style lashes. You can get some that are a little more natural. I like a curly lash. I like for it to look like I have individuals on, even though I don't have individuals on, even though we know these are clusters. I do like that it comes in the four pieces. So it goes, uh, for me, it went across my whole eye without going into my inner corner because eyelashes in the inner corner really, really irritate me. So I typically don't wear them in the inner corner or I'll cut them to where they don't touch my inner corner, so I do like that. With the lash bond, the bond itself is really tacky, so you have to be careful using it. Like at one point, um, I was doing one of, my one of my eyes, and my eyelash, my actual eyelash was like stuck to the lid up here, and I was like, oh. So I had to take my tweezers and pull it down, but it makes it because it's so tacky it makes the actual cluster or lash stick to it very easily so keep that in mind using this the bun i do like that the seal side of it has this little wand part and it has the mascara part so you can go in and hit it with the wand part and then go in and use the mascara on it as well and like i said this is a bucks on amazon and then this was eight bucks on amazon so a 16 dollar combo but if you factor in the fact that you probably buy lashes quite often different lashes and depending on where you go or you get them if you're a hair store girl you may pay two three four five bucks for them if you're an ultra girl you may pay five six seven eight nine ten and of course if you like the luxury brands you're gonna pay 15 20 dollars you know for one pair of lashes and this is eight dollars for eight clusters so that's basically a dollar a pair so you're definitely getting your bang for your buck and the same thing with the bun and the seal it lasts a long time so you're not having to go and repurchase lashes you can just use the ones that you got now i do feel like the lashes themselves are really soft i did the one con i would say is that i feel like the um the band is kind of thick, a little thicker than I would like for it to be. But it could be because of how thick these lashes are as well. Um, so, keep that in mind. But other than that, like, I have no complaints about the lashes. They all look like they're about the same length. Of course, you would want to use the same philosophy that you use with putting on a strip. You know, you want to go shortest to longest. So, you want the shortest to be on the inside, longest on the outside, just to keep it looking natural. 
but I do feel like all of these are about the same. The curl is about the same, so you could pull out of order and it would be fine. Other than that, guys, I think that is it. Would I recommend these products? Yes, I would. I would give these eyelashes a good solid 8 out of 10, as well as the bun. The combo itself, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Now, I probably would try these lashes with a different bun. I'm not sure. I'm going to give this bun a try because I paid a little bit for it, but um, it depends on the wear. So I guess I'll do an updated video and let you guys know how long the wear is. If the wear still gives me seven days, because this is supposed to be a waterproof um, band or band, bun. This is supposed to be a waterproof bun, and you're supposed to be able to wear it. It's supposed to have long wear on it, which is probably why it's so tacky. So if it does have longevity, of course, it'll be in the rotation, and I will, you know, let you guys know. But as far as the combo itself together, it, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. And I would recommend it go out and pick it up. I'll have it in the description box for you guys to check out. Now then, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Share it. Why? Because sharing is caring, and we're trying to grow our tribe, our hive over here. And we would love to have more people. And, of course, if you find something helpful and something friendly, why not... Send it to somebody else to help them along their journey as well. Thank you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. If you had not subscribed already, please subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can make sure you don't miss anything. I post videos every week. As always, thank you guys for the support and I will catch you in my next one. Peace.